Hi, I'm Mark with the WD Purple product team, and today we're talking network video recorders, NVRs. We have Louie from LTS. Welcome, Louie. Hey, Mark. Thanks. And we have a couple products in front of us. It's the LTS uh, 86 and 89 series NVRs. Yes. Uh -huh. And these are new products just being introduced. The 8689 series is not, ooh, it's not new, but these are the new versions, the newest revisions of them. All right, we're going to dive into all about the new and exciting features with this, but uh, let's talk for customers. I think they really are familiar with high resolution cameras and what their needs are for security cameras, but oftentimes the recorders are kind of an afterthought. So is, do, uh, do customers need um, the new features in NVR to match up to take advantage of the features in the cameras? The cameras itself will have a lot of the specialized features, such as like the AI and all that good stuff. But video wise, if you're just needing videos, then no, not really. But if you're wanting to utilize all the extra features that the camera has, then yes, you definitely would need something like this to be able to kind of, uh, it's like a file system, you know, puts it in its place. So it makes it easier for you to search and look up that information later on. All right, you mentioned the 86 and 89 series were existing ranges. So where do those range, does these models fit in the, the range from entry level up to enterprise? These are more of like the, the prosumer goes up to like the enterprise grade. The only difference is going to be the actual number of cameras that the unit supports. And how many different cameras does the 86 or 89 series support? 86 is going to be your 8 and your 16 channel. We've got your 89, which is the one at the bottom. That one is going to be 16, 32, and 64 channels. All right. And uh, is it any resolution or is it a certain resolution uh, for the camera that it supports? With the latest 86, 89, they will support up to 32 megapixels. So whereas the older version, that one's only up to 16. And so, yes, there is a big jump. So that, that's a, an impressive uh, statistic and, and feature of the product support. So um, so what is, it, is the main benefits of moving up to a higher resolution, like a 4K 8 megapixel camera? What are the benefits from a security standpoint? Mm, of course, if you have a higher resolution, then yes, you are going to have a clearer picture. Uh, but you will also get, of course, the different types of detections that are available on the cameras. And so I guess that's where the latest and greatest that provides uh, is gonna be in those detections. Right, and the, the cameras, uh, they're taking these high resolution images, but it's also outputting a much larger stream. Is that right? Yes, yes. Anytime you have a higher resolution, then of course it's gonna be needing more data and then you need to have the pipeline to be able to send that over and into the recorder and the recorder. So the recorder does matter and the, the ability to you know, ingest the, all these video streams coming from these high resolution cameras. Yes, yeah. definitely. All right. All right. So um, do the recorders, do they do anything to anything special to compress the video from the image that comes from the camera? Uh, yeah, there is a encoding. Uh, well, I would say all of them will have the encoding methods, which are going to be like your H.264, H.264+. H.265 and H.265 plus. There's also a new one, which is like a more of like an AI type of encoding. So it's able to kind of determine which part of the image is more, let's say, valuable or you know what is more important. And it's able to compress using those uh, formats. Oh, okay, so it can, can it switch dynamically between yes. the different formats? Mm -hmm. So on a, like a motion event or detected event, then it can switch to something that's less compressed for, for higher quality? Oh yeah, definitely. So let's say for instance, oh, we've got this section where you see a person walking by, then yes, you will focus on a the person and not the trees or anything that's kind of moving along the side or the background. All right, that's exciting. And with these uh, products, can we talk about this, the storage? Because the, the image and the video goes from the camera, camera sensor to the recorder. And then it ends up onto storage. What kind of storage is included in these products? Uh, these will actually have uh, three and a half inch hard drives that are going to be supported for them. And so, yeah, any, well, we do have people uh, use two and a half inch. Uh, some people even use SSDs in there. But SSDs, they're only like two and a half inch SSDs, so they're not three and a half inch. But yeah, they're all going to be supported. They are running a SATA interface, so anything that's SATA is going to be compatible. 
And is there a difference between the number of hard drives that you can fit in the 86 or the 89 recorder? Yes, the 86 is going to have two hard drive spots. The uh, 89 is going to be four. Great. And what's the capacity that uh, the LTS provides in these drives? Uh, they are rated for up to 14 terabytes, uh, but from our testing, we've tried some bigger ones and they are working, but officially speaking, then it's going to be four. Yeah, and the benefit of the higher capacity drives, so you can obviously support a greater number of cameras that are high resolution, but does it also impact the days of retention that you can store and retain your video? Oh yeah, definitely. Because in a nutshell, you know, your higher resolution cameras, of course, they're going to use more data and then you're able to have a larger hard drive, which means you can have um, more days, more weeks, more months of recording. So yes, that is going to be uh, something that people will look at if you need to decide. Because if you're using like, let's say, an 8 megapixel camera versus like a 2 megapixel, of course, for the same hard drive size, you're going to have more recording if you're using a two megapixel because you know it's just the file uh, storage or the actual data that's required. And days of retention, we have several customers that uh, are either increasing their days of retention either for best practices or for regulation. Uh, certain industries require that you hold on to data for so long. And, and then um, also just for uh, video analytics, sometimes you're able to go back and operate analytics on existing video that's already been recorded. Mm -hmm. Is that supported with, with these systems? Oh yeah, yeah. So the hard drive is not just for the actual playback. Uh, any data that the camera is sending over, the metadata is what it's officially called, is sent and it is stored on the hard drive itself. So when you're in the recorder, you're trying to search, you not only are able to search for the video, you can kind of search for all the different attributes that the camera is able to kind of restore or kind of a list that's available for it. Right. Oftentimes, you know, customers will um, they'll buy their cameras, they'll buy the recorders, and then they'll look uh, at just putting in the lowest cost storage. Uh, do you have customers that have installed desktop class hard drives and what's been their experience? Yes, you can use desktop hard hard drives because at the end of the day it is a SATA interface, but the desktop class is not going to be as efficient and they're not going to last as long. Reason being desktops are usually for like desktop computers. You're probably not running them 24 hours a day. You're not writing or reading from 24 hours a day. And so also the style that it records is going to be different. Desktops, they're more of like random access. So you know, with, we've got data, anyone with this, if we need to pull something from here or pull something from there then it's optimized to be an all around general good working drive. Uh, with stuff that's made for surveillance drives, everything is written in order. Of course, you're starting from, let's say, the middle of this kind of spinning all the way out. Once it is full, then it's gonna start and overwrite over the same uh, disk platter. It starts going back to the oldest stuff, overwrite it, kind of move its way out. So. Everything is in order. That's why a lot of these surveillance drives, they are optimized to kind of record in that aspect. We're not really needing to do a lot of their random searching in different locations. So it is optimized as far as power and efficiency in that regard. And so LTS, you do provide or and deliver a video surveillance uh, class hard drive through WD Purple. Yes. All right, so what are some of the, the benefits of WD Purple? Uh, WD Purple, of course, you know, like I was saying previously, it is going to be optimized for the style of reading and writing to your recording styles for your video. Um, they are optimized for power because they are running 24 hours a day. Um, and they are made while it's doing that to actually last a lot longer than you would with any other style. Yeah, and WD uh, also has a, a technology feature that's called All Frame. Uh, that protects against uh, frame drops. Can you uh, tell listeners about what uh, what happens when they have frame drops? On that one, they are actually going in and I would say it's more like a buffer. A buffer and just make sure that when you're trying to push that data to your hard drive, nothing's getting lost or at least the most important parts are not getting yeah. lost. Um, there are also different checks for the hard drives that are in, if you look through the recorder menu, there's actually special um, test diagnostics for uh, Western Digital Drives. Right. right, we'll talk more about that upcoming. Uh, 
So with a, with a video, if you're going to play it back and it's had frame drops, what does that video look like? If it's got frame drops, you may notice it's skipping or you may notice some ghosting in the image. And so those are the most common or even like missing video. Right. You just, you know, you'd be watching it, it's like all of a sudden it's like jumps to like a few seconds later or which is not really what you want if you're doing Not what you want in video surveillance. Yeah, it can be that missing frame can even be that one split second of evidence for information for a license plate going by or someone pocketing something, an item in a store. So it can really yes. make a difference in that evidence file. All right, let's talk a little bit about uh, artificial analytics, video analytics, and, and AI. Um, so what's the support built into the new 86 and 89 series products? So we do have your standard, which is your motion detection. That's going to be the most basic. Uh, motion detection just goes off pixel changes in that image. So you know, like one image is made up of a lot of different pixels. Any one of those pixels change colors and it sets it off. That's like the most rudimentary. Uh, so you get a lot of false alarms using that. The next step up is going to be more of like a intrusion detection, a line crossing, um, and there's also a few more on top of that. Uh, those take it a step further than your standard motion detection because line crossing, you're basically drawing a virtual line in the image. If a person kind of goes from one half of the line to the other, or you know, you can kind of uh, customize that. If you want the motion to be going from both ways or just one way. So you will get less false alarm if you're using that method. Uh, the latest and greatest is where you've got your uh, human and vehicle detection. You can kind of specify, oh, I want to kind of filter it out even more using those attributes. And so, you know, as far as AI, we even have some, depending on the cameras, uh, which are going to be your metadata, like the license plate cameras, uh, we've got your face recognition, your face detection, which all that is going to be supported by these recorders. Great. Now let's talk a little bit about um, monitoring. So they're used for both playback and also for live monitoring. Um, are there any special new features in the 86 or 89 series recorders? 86, 89, the recorder itself does have a more powerful uh, processing unit. Your CPU and your GPU is going to be a lot stronger. So it's able to decode your higher resolution cameras as you know, the trend is people want higher megapixel rating, they want sharper images, they want all that extra AI data and your recorder has got to be able to kind of process all that, make sure that, hey, we know this is what it is or where it needs to go. And so, yes, these are more powerful. Uh, we also are able to kind of, on the monitoring standpoint, have a more powerful uh, video outs. So the video out on this, the HDMIs are able to go up to 8K, uh, whereas the previous unit is only 4K. And so yes, maybe, while 8K is not really that mainstream, they are on the market, but you know, it kind of helps the future-proof the unit. That, that's right. So 8K, certainly within the next you know handful of, of years, I think we'll see a lot more 8K monitors, and especially for video surveillance monitoring, where there's so much more of a picture and higher clarity on an 8K image versus even a 4K today. So that's great that uh, the LTS 86 and 89 series have products have that built in so you can grow in the future. So Louis, again, want to thank you again so much for telling us all about the new LTS 86 and 89 series NVR network video recorders that feature WD Purple hard drive storage. Thank you and have a great day.